hello and salutations. Hello, welcome back. Welcome back to uh, Guild Rock, Guild Rock Season 8. We're back, that's right. And today, we're going to be working on setting up the mega base, or the bigger base, I should say. It's not really going to be mega. I mean, a lot of people are going to do mega type bases, but mine is more going to be like a spread out area. Uh, because it is based around something. As we remember, I am basing it around Umungus. The Umungus maps. So, we're going to do our best to try to get it working and looking right. But, um, it's going to be hard. Especially because the place I've chosen is a mountain. And I need a flat space. So, we're going to spend a lot of time flattening a mountain. <laughs> My brain's going to melt. It's going to, like, melt off or something. Either way, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with all your friends. Don't forget to eat spaghetti. And let's get right into this. Let's go. So I have this little camp set up right in the basin of the mountain. But at the end of the day, we have to wipe out all this mountain. I've already started digging through to kind of get an idea of what level I want to do it at. It is going to be like 135. But I need enough space so that when I put the ship hanging over the edge, which is like the scaled ship... Uh, it's it's gonna be high up because it's like landing and stuff so we need to do that also the airship if we get a chance or if we have time we'll be building that as well mirror headquarters and polis those are the ones i'm thinking about uh i'm gonna not do submerged and fungal fungal is an alien map so it's not really gonna go with the theme and submerged is underwater again doesn't really go with the theme we might do submerged in another series we might do submerged in some sort of um water-based series you know 100 days in the ocean or something or 100 days under the sea uh living under the sea like something like that but this is this is not that kind of one so as you can see i am leveling this out which is gonna take ages not not super enthusiastic about it especially because i don't have all of my tools here um i didn't bring enough obsidian to build a portal all the way back home when we got eight i could look around for lava and see if i can find a lava pool or dig down and find lava it doesn't really matter too much but uh eventually we are gonna have to make a portal back i've got the uh coordinates to the spawn so we should be able to get back quickly i am also running out of food which is not great oh it's snowing i don't hate that uh, it's gonna be a little annoying we are gonna have to make a ridiculous amount of shovels though i didn't bring any of my uh my diamonds the diamond shovels uh this is gonna be rough this is going to be rough but yeah we're gonna need a ridiculous amount of shovels Bam, 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 <laughs> I'm not kidding. We have to take out an entire mountain. I wish I kind of, I wish I had help. Like, people are starting to group up now and form guilds and stuff. And, um, unfortunately, I haven't been invited to one. So, I, I don't have a guild to get help from. But, we're gonna keep pushing forward. We're gonna get this stuff done. Now, in all honesty, I've wanted to do an Among Us build for quite some time. In fact, I've like been talking about it and planning it and thinking about it for a while. Trying to choose the best series to put it in. Uh, a lot of the 100 days is I don't have enough time to get all of the buildings in. And I may redo this in another series. Who knows? It's, it's, it's really up in the air. But creating the Among Us area maps have been really exciting for me because I love deception games. I've always loved deception games. Among Us is one of the games I really like. I also like, I like First Cast Trouble. I like Goose Goose Duck. Um, what, what other deception games are there? Oh yeah, there's Blood in the Clock Tower. There's Werewolf Mafia. Those kinds of games. Evil. Uh, those are the ones I can think of off the top of my head. But there is a ridiculous amount. There is a ridiculous amount. And I even have a series coming up called Faye SMP, which is going to be a Blood in the Clock Tower, uh, Town of Salem inspired series. Uh, it's kind of like a little SMP, but with murder. <laughs> and I'm super excited for it to come out because I've always loved those kinds of games. Deception, seeing how people react and how people do things. Though I've never been a big fan of people swearing and promising on their lives or their children's lives for a game. Uh, never been a big fan for that. But back to the build, we're doing Among Us. We're going to be covering Polis, as I said. We're going to be covering Skeld, we're going to be covering Mira, and we're going to be covering Airship if, if we have time. Airship's the last one. The first one is Polis. Then we're moving on to Skeld, and then Mira. Now, Polis is probably the easiest one. It's just a whole bunch of builds, as you can see. It's just a whole bunch of buildings. Uh, that's quite easy to do. We just I want to do as close to the original as possible. Hopefully we're going to have enough space. I don't really know. If not, we're going to have to make the space. 
we're gonna have to like build and terraform over the edge of things uh which is gonna be rough if we have to do that but we will we will um and then with scaled we're gonna have this the ship kind of kind of docked off the side and uh with that off the side we can make it as big as we need it to be and then just have pillars going down to the ground to kind of keep it upright Mira will be just a, a office building, obviously, with a big strange shape at the top. What I'm probably going to have to do is make the top part first and then build the rest of the building underneath it because then we know what shape we're going to go for. Uh, as you can see, these are three different builds with three different styles and three different sizes and we're not going to know how exactly uh, to make them until we do certain bits. So obviously with Polis, I'm going to have to start with where is the ship going to be docked. And uh, for me, the, the dropship, I don't know how I'm going to do the dropship part because you don't actually see the dropship from the um, ship. So I think I'm going to go do, do the dropship where the storage area is in the Skeld map. And so that's the, the storage area will be the start of um, where you go into. So that's where we're going to start with there. <laughs> that means I'm going to have to go back for, backwards from the dropship all the way down to the uh, admin. And uh, yeah, then we can spread outwards. And with Mira, of course, we're going to do the main part of the building. Now, now that we have it all planned out, now we know what's going on, it's time to clear out the mountain. Ah, padded snow again, padded snow again, padded snow again. Ugh, I hate it here. No, I don't want powdered snow. No, thank you. Powdered snow sucks. No. <laughs> how do I, how do I? I don't want to pick up powdered snow, I want water. There we go. Okay. No! Rude. Get rid of it, get rid of it! Okay, so that's not powdered snow. Anyway, let's get to the top of the mountain and start uh, taking it out. So, uh, what I'm going to do is get my shovels and get rid of all of the snow first. Then after that, we're going to go out in with the uh, pickaxe and start getting all the stone. Now, the stone's going to come in handy for building parts. The snow is going to be more for terraforming, especially if we're going to need to push the building off the edge of this, which is where I think it's going to head. <laughs> it's, no, it's not going to be fun having to push it all back and make a brand new mountain, but uh, if that's what we have to do, that's what we have to do to make it look pretty. This is what happens when you have an aesthetic builder, such as myself, who's all like, this has to be pretty. Are you serious? This is all? Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, it all has to be pretty. There's, there's nowhere else this can go. Also, I could just put down a whole bunch of, um, does this melt? Does snow melt with, um, like, torches? Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out. If it starts melting, that's great. Then we'll just torch the hell out of everywhere. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, I'm not going to need that much snow. I'm not going to need, like, a ridiculous amount of snow. Just, it might happen. It might happen. But it's probably not. <laughs> Anywho, I'm going to continue on with this. Hopefully when I come back, we have a decent amount of it done. And then we can start, you know, thinking about terraforming it a bit more. We'll see. We'll see. So much snow. Look at all these snowballs. So many goddamn balls.
this is a good chunk done. I mean, we still have like a ridiculous amount to go that way. And uh, uh, I, I'm coming to the realization that maybe this isn't the best space for this because I'm looking at it and uh, I decided not to go so far down the mountain because of how long that would take to get it all done. I mean, if I went down there where I wanted to, it would only be a bit more space. However, I'm noticing the shape is a little bit off from the polis map, which means we might have to rearrange some buildings. So it's not going to be a uh, one for one of the original, which is, I don't know about that. We're, we're going to, we're going to see. Maybe we should call it the polis 2 electric boogaloo or something. <laughs> we still have a lot to go that way and we still have to fill, fill some things in. Anywho, I feel like we should go down to the mines. Because with all of this, with all of this collecting of um, uh, blocks and destroying things, I've sent so much iron and so much diamonds just destroying stuff. Nothing else, just destroying things. And with that, I kind of need some more. So we're going to go down deep into the bands and uh, figure it out. Because uh, I've, I've got a hole built, but I haven't actually been down there properly. <laughs> Let's go. I hate to say this, but we can't just leave. I, 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 as much as I wanted, uh, that, that, was, that was awful. This is awful down there. But we can't just leave. Wait, did I even bring lamp uh, torches? No, I didn't get torches. Ooh. Oh, no, we, we can't just leave. As, as scary as that warden is, we have to make sure that we get some more diamonds and stuff. Like, I've, I've got got a decent amount, but we need more. <laughs> we need more, goddammit. I can't, I can't settle for less. Not with, not with how much m removal we still have. I, I can't. Oh, it's going to be rough. The only cave that's underneath my base is Skulkified and Pools Wardens. That's just, that's just great. I'm feeling good about this. Oh, come on. The bats are gonna freaking get the screamer going, aren't they? Just need to get that screamer. There's only one left. There was three of them. I've spent 30 minutes on this shit. And let's see. Oh, freedom. Well, freedom until I find another screamer and then pull another warden. It's like their third or fourth warden now. Okay. There's a path up that way, but is it... I feel like there's something over here. Oh, more of this shit. More screamers. Yeah, more screamers. Great. And... Yeah. Well, this is great. This is lovely. <laughs> I love having to run away constantly. I don't remember it being this aggressive um, in uh, normal Java. No. The answer is no. I'd have to be good at parkour for that to happen. There's just so many of these, and I know there's so many screamers. Maybe we should have it over that direction. Wasn't this direction filled with badness? Oh, there it is. There we go. Okay, so at least it resets. It's been five minutes, so it's reset since. That's good. That means we have another two we can set off before we have to wait another five freaking minutes. And yeah, we go. Okay, look out for screamers. Look out for screamers. Don't care about anything. Oh, diamonds. Can I put this down? Okay. Okay. See, I just wanted a normal cave. I didn't want a screamer cave. I didn't want a sculpt cave. Uh, I mean, it's it's a good thing because I can use it for experience, but I, that means I also have to start working on like an enchanting area, which again, I, I, I feel like I've barely done the basics. Some people have a hundred hours already and I'm on like, I don't know, 15 to 20. And I've, I haven't even done an entire day in Minecraft. Though in saying that, that's like well, 24 hours in a day. For those who don't know, 24 hours is in a day. <laughs> As if I'm teaching you something. Welcome to Friendly School of Knowledge. <laughs> because for some reason now I have to teach you all about math and stuff. Wait, days aren't really math, are they? No, I, I wouldn't call that math. Is calendars... Oh, I want to go over there and destroy it. We have to be careful. Yay. There's more gold down there. There's definitely a uh, gold. Lots of gold. Maybe, maybe we should we should think about putting gold somewhere. <laughs> the, the deep depths of mirror. Oh, diamonds! See, this is why I like destroying all the um, all the skulk because diamonds hide underneath. They're 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 tricky. Diamonds almost don't want to be mined up. It's like no 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 no. I do not give you permission to mine me. There's some gold over here. Hmm. See, so I got to keep my eyes out for more diamonds. But also, of course, for more screamers. More screamy boys. Hey, I didn't even realize I hadn't filled up that, uh, that gold. And that's how I was before. I could have dropped down, but I was scared. For good reason, too. I mean, there were there were no screamers in this area, so it would have been all for naught. 
But you, I didn't know that. I, I thought everything was hell down here. I thought the entire place was filled with hell. Alright, so I'm going to keep clearing this out. I'm going to get some experience. Uh, I don't think there are too many more screamers around here. I feel like this is slowly deteriorating. Like, turning back into a normal cave. I think that's a normal cave over there. So which means the skulk stuff is either that way, that way, or that way. Uh, however, I still got to be careful because there's probably at least one or two screamers still left hiding, lurking around. But there are less of those uh, wiggly boys around here. Is there none over here? I'm actually surprised by that. Oh, but there is lava there. All right, all right. Okay, so I'm going to get some diamonds, some experience, and then we'll head back up and do some more clearing. This day has really been just setting up. <laughs> this is just, this is just, this, this actually, this couple, this couple days has just been setting up. This is just a, a setup period, which it makes sense. I, I really do need to clear it out before uh, we start building anything. Lots of, lots of iron. I'll grab that. Never have too much iron. But I'll see you back on the surface. Oh god, this is in the way. You know what, you know what, this person just left their freaking boat here. They can get fricked. I don't care. If they want their boat back, they can talk to me about it, you know? But yeah, we're going on our way to get some mending books and some unbreaking books, which I'm excited about because I would like them. <laughs> I, would be able, I would like to not have to, you know, get, keep making new pickaxes and stuff. Plus, because I'm so close to Skulk, I could use a Skulk to repair my... Oh, wait. I could use Skulk to repair my stuff now. Wee! Eh, eh, eh. Gotta break it up. Okay. So yeah, we, we have plans. What's this? Why do people keep leaving their... Oh, boats. Okay, but just like... You know what? I'll put the other boat in here. Actually, I want to swap boats. I like dark oak. I don't like cherry. <laughs> I don't like cherry. Okay. Well, uh, we're at spawn now. And there should be some itemy stuff here. Let's have a look. Free stuff. Oh, I love free stuff. Oh, I love free stuff. Raider's choice. Totems and, sa and uh, oh, and saddles. I don't really care about either of those things. What's this? This is, um, oh, these are just rockets. It doesn't really say how much for the rockets, though. I don't I don't even have an elytra. I don't, I, they, they ran to get an elytra on day one. They ran to get an elytra on day one, and I don't have one. Now I feel left out. So, one diamond for each of the, really? One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven. So I need four for armor and then three for things. So seven, that's seven diamonds. Uh, and one more. And then here. Oh, really? Oh, thank God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that it? One diamond each book in this box. Okay, that's cool. What's this one? This one is, uh, we'll also soon be selling tinted glass and block. Just, uh, so what's this one? It's just shiny stuff? Oh, okay. Well, it's, um, it's fine, I suppose. Don't really need any of that. It's all the amethyst stuff. Oh, that's cute. Oh, look at that. It's like an ice rink. <laughs> I've got some <laughs> creatures over there. There's some new buildings as well. Oh, this is, this is one of my favorite buildings. This one right here is one of my favorite buildings. Oh, it's so nice. Also, what's this? Uh, RPG. Oh, they're doing a store. No, 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 no. We have to, we have to go over here and look at this building, because it's got, it's got my favorite scheme, like uh, block scheme, materials, block color scheme, whatever. Uh, <laughs> look at that, just the way it blends too. They've like, see how they put the dot there and then the the sign there to blend it into one another. That is so smart. I've never thought to do that. It's almost like a marble house. I'm guessing they've used oh. Oh, I don't like that part. I don't like this part. Also, who's stripped it there? Is that supposed to be a thing? Oh, this is the one we saw before. Oh, I'm so blind. We've seen this one. I really like this one. Yeah. It's a little strange. Oh, the, uh, this is, this is, this is home. Look at this. This is, this is, what, this is where I used to live. See my house over there? Isn't it cute? Ah, oh, it's so weird. It's so weird moving away. Oh, well. You know, it's, it was time. It was time to move on. It really was. You know, I'm out in the middle of nowhere and anything could happen. A any Anyone could come and, and kidnap me. It would be awful. Absolutely awful. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I, 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 I believe in myself. Plus, I have a whole bunch of unbreaking and mending books now, so I'll be fine. I'm going to protect myself. With the leftover uh, diamonds, I actually have to make <laughs> all my tools. I'm just going to make tools first. Uh, and then we'll deal with the rest later. 
I might just use the ones I have for these two, like the diamond pickaxe and diamond sword, and we might go from there. Uh, do I need a, a diamond, an axe to do thingy? I don't know if I do. I might put two back. Oh wait, not mending, uh, unbreaking. There we go. If I need more, I'll just come back. All right, let's head home and wrap this, 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 this up, because we, we have, I have to clear out the entire space. We, I've only done half of it. We have another half to do, and we have to do it by next time. Otherwise, I'm just going to go insane, and it's going to piss me off and annoy me. <sighs> really is, really is. Anyway, let's get the outro. Well, 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 we have come to the end. That's right, we've come to the end of this episode. I still have so much to clear out before next time, and I have so much to do. My brain is about to explode. But we got a lot of materials. We figured out what we want to do. We got some plans going, some brain moments a, a, a brainstorm to be exact now i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready ready yeah 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 i want to say thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here thank you so much for being part of your friendly neighborhood new community as we are in guild rock season eight don't forget to like subscribe share with all your friends don't forget to eat spaghetti and i what the that's a really bright light wait what's that i see something out there oh no no <laughs>